be. And meteorologist Peter Hall is joining us now. And Peter, you were working that night. Uh, you saw what was developing, although it really picked up some steam after midnight. Dinner. Yeah, e even through 1130, it just started entering Lake Ontario and far western New York. And it was not nearly as strong as what happened when it got here about two hours later. There are three big differences that should help you be a little more at peace at being warned at something like this. The number one thing, cell phones have what is a weather emergency alert, which is essentially like an EAS on a TV, meaning that even if your phone is silent or vibrating, a weather alert like a tornado warning or a high-end severe thunderstorm warning or even a snow squall warning in the winter will give off a blaring alarm, not just a regular tone or a text. It'll be extreme weather that like that. That'll be the big deal for that. That's number one. Number two, computer models are vastly better a quarter of a century later. Also, radars have improved that they can look vertically and horizontally at those cells as they get closer to show you that there's debris or something extreme coming our way. So the technology has gotten better. Cell phones have gotten better. And I think our forecasting has gotten better as well. So we're always on top of things here at CNY Central. Yeah, Florida. actually, I recall 25 years ago that was my first weekend as a student a freshman at Syracuse University yeah. they ushered all of us into the basement of our dorm and we stayed there for hours um, and then we came out the next morning and saw all the damage which you yeah. guys remember very well covering yeah, and everybody has a Labor Day storm story if you were around back then now Peter I am looking to the skies particularly south and west